What's happening? This is Hayden Adams. In this project, I have one really big issue. To me, what I want to have happen for a visual readability is I want all these paragraphs to be the same length. Then by you can click on read more and the rest information just drops right down. I'm in React Gatsby. And what I want to do is I'm going to bring a plugin in to solve this challenge. What I have here in my default is I brought in Bootstrap or React Bootstrap and I have a four column design of varying lengths of text. And what I want to do is I want the same length of each text, then the user can click on read more and drop down. Obviously these paragraphs don't call for individual pages. So I want them to stay on the same page and it's to read more, read less scenario. And so I went searching for a plugin to do just that. Thankfully at npmjs.com, I found a plugin called React Read More, Read Less. Let's go ahead and install that and see how it works. I'm gonna copy this install. I'm gonna pull up my terminal. Where did it go? There it is. I'm gonna stop this project. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste in the npm i react read more, read less. To get started and to use this plugin, you'll wanna come down to usage and in import, I'm gonna import the react read more, read less from this plugin. And while it's finishing, I'll come over here, scroll up to the top. I'm gonna to put it right down here. I'll save it. It should have installed, perfect. I'm gonna run Gatsby develop. Hopefully no error messages have happened. Fingers crossed. I always like to make sure I run it first before I do too much to make sure it installed successfully. If it didn't, it'll give me an error message that this doesn't really exist unless we should be fine under the success messages. It's building development bundle. Awesome. And yes, we do have a warning because it says we've defined it, but we've never used it. So let's go ahead and actually use it. What I'm going to do for the first paragraph, I'm going to come down here. Let's go right here under the first call LG4. And in here, I'm going to do is I'm going to say capital react, read more, read less. Now I'll close this, but I'm going to close it down below because there are some extra elements I want to put in to the react, read more, read less. I'm going to say read more, read more class name. Is it catching it? I guess not. And I'm going to call this one read more class name, just so we can keep it identifiable inside our CSS. Here's the magic of this. I can say character limit and equal it, equal it, that's a good one, equate it to a specific number. In this case, I'm going to say 200 characters and I'm going to say read more text will then say read more. And what I can also do is I can say read less text equals read less. Now what I can also do is I can add a down arrow to the read more because it then points down like you're going to read more information. And then I can add an up arrow to the read less. So as you click, put a space there, it'll change from down arrow read more to, whoa, what did I not? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I haven't finished closing this tag, so thereby it's going to totally crash on me. I shouldn't have saved it that fast. Let me just make sure that this is all taken care of. Let me go right here, and I'm going to close the read more, read less. The last step I have to do, so it comes back to life, is paste this text. I'm going to cut this, hit the copy before, and I'll drop it in and make sure that this is aligned properly. And just so we have this extra space taken out. Now, when I save it, what should happen is no more of the error messages because yes, I didn't close my tag. So now when I save this, I'm going to hide Safari, get to go away and refresh the page. Now what we get is about three sentences or three lines of text. And then this read more, the magical part about this, I can click on read more and it drops down the text and the bottom part says read less. Let's add this to the bottom or the bottom, the next two paragraphs. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to come down here to the next column. I'll put extra space for readability. I'll drop it in and we'll drop it here. 
move this back just a touch. And to make sure we don't get the error message, I am gonna properly close it. And I'll copy and paste the text, and rather cut and paste the text right inside. And now what I get is the read more and the read more. Note how it looks so much cleaner in the design. Now note, you can change your character limit. I'm just keeping it 200, so it's really nice and clean and small. And if they want to get to more, they can click read more and read less. Once again, do it one more time for the third paragraph. Come down here, drop it in, indent that. Make sure we close this. We've got the space in the middle. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna copy, or rather cut, I keep saying copy, it's kind of like a old habit. And we'll indent this one right there. Now what we will get is three beautiful paragraphs of read more, read more, and read more. Now for me, this looks really clean, but I wanna make sure that the average user knows to click on read more, because the text is the same color. And I like to play whack-a-mole with links. That's one of my pet peeves. Even though a link will stand out, it's a beacon to tell the user they can click on it because as they see it, they should know, but it's not clearly obvious because the text hasn't changed colors by default. That's where I've added this class name, this read more class name for read more class name. Let's head into CSS and I've also built in a custom CSS at the top and let's change the styling of this design for this read more so it really is easier for the end user to know that they can click on read more. So if we head over our CSS file, our custom CSS is completely empty. I'm gonna say read more class name. Now you can give it a much better name than that but I'm just gonna rename it the read more class name. The color, which I've chosen before, is pound sign 007BFF for a nice bright color. And if we save that, now you notice that the read mores all changed color. Now, if you want a hover tag to this, what I do is I'm gonna say read more class name, hover. And inside of this, I'm then gonna say color equals initial. So it brings it back. The inherent also will work if you wanna bring it that way, but I'm gonna use color initial and drop it in. And now what's gonna happen is when I roll my mouse over it, it'll turn right to the same color black. But notice how much cleaner this overall looks. Even with that blue color, you can see you can read this much space and then drop it down. Read less, bring it back up. The user usually knows that once you can click on this area, then the read less can then stay black. I just like to have it that way because they know how to click it once, they'll know how to click it again down below. And again, this one works pretty good. Now, if you want to add some extra variance to this design, what you can also do is you can also add a border bottom, border, if I got it right, yeah, border, come on, border bottom, 1px, I'll say solid, and a light, gray. There it is. And now what that one will do, if I refresh the page, it just adds a bit of a line underneath it. Now, if you want the line to go across the entire bottom piece and really make this stand out, what you can also do is display block it. What that's going to do is drop it down this way to say read more as in pull the whole text down. And so it goes down completely. Also note, if you wanna change the design of the read less design, in the index file, what I can do is, I've set up a class for the read more class name, but what I can also do is I can say read less class, didn't catch that one, name. And in there, I can say read less class name and further stylize that within my CSS. That's one of the props that we can also use to stylize this design further in CSS. If you want more help in Gatsby, I have an entire Gatsby playlist, and I also have a whole tutorial on working with React Bootstrap in another video, which I'll post here. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes.